Now, firstly, introduced in the UK in 1951, zebra crossing are designed to impress upon drivers to halt for pedestrians. Unfortunately, some drivers in Accra drive at the top in spite of the black and white stripes. In this report, John uses Tasha Mike uh, Michelle interacted with some road users in the capital who lament the non-compliant attitude of these drivers. The authorities must deal with the errant drivers to prevent the increasing rate of pedestrian knockdowns. Data from the National Road Safety Authority revealed that a total of 1,155 pedestrians were knocked down between January and May 2022. Some of those who met their untimely deaths were knocked while using zebra crossings, which ordinarily should have provided safety for them. It appears that many drivers do not regard zebra crossings while plying the road. According to some pedestrians at the La General Hospital, they always have their hats in their mouths when using the stretch. This is because, apart from the drivers failing to stop at the site of zebra crossings, some of the zebra crossings themselves have faded, posing more threats to them. Some of the challenges we do encounter here is that the zebra crossing is faded and then you can't even see it on the, on the road. And the drivers do not stop for you to even cross. So there are times, I mean, we need to beg them, attempt like crossing before they could stop for you to cross. And as for the school children too, they will stand here for about between two to five minutes before maybe one of the cars can, I mean, stop for them to cross. And as for the old women too, unless maybe uh, some of the young guys are passing and they want to cross before they can stop the cars for them to cross. We want maybe the Ghana Highway Authority or the people concerned should take note and then help us fix the zebra crossing. It's a bit difficult because sometimes when you want to cross these uh, vehicles, they don't stop. They know you wanted to cross, but they will not stop. Sometimes we have to use force. You have to step on the road. Some our drivers are understanding, but others too, they will not stop. But this is a zebra crossing. They have to slow down, but when they get there, they don't slow down. That's the problem we are facing. It's not only me alone, but most of the students. It's become very difficult for us. I'm praying that the authorities will do something about it. At the Dankwa Circle, around the police hospital in Accra, the zebra crossing is visible. However, students of St. Thomas Aquinas SHS say they feel unsafe because even when the cars stop for them, motor riders speed towards them. My problem is the motor riders because sometimes when the drivers stop, the motor riders, they don't really seem to care. They just continue moving and they sometimes almost hit us, but we just have to stop. So sometimes even if the driver stop, you have to keep looking if a motor rider is coming because you might get hit. Sometimes we we'll stand here for a very long time before being able to cross. And sometimes when there's a traffic like this, they end up stopping on the zebra crossing instead of leaving a space there so that we can cross. So sometimes it's very challenging using it. I think the drivers are ignorant about the fact that when they are approaching the zebra crossing, they should stop for us to cross. They refuse to stop for us. So mostly when there's a traffic or something, they end up st stopping on the zebra crossing, which most of the time delays our time. At the Laboni Junction, the zebra markings are gradually wearing away, forcing authorities of the Laboni SDA school to deploy wardens to assist pupils who use the road. A warden who spoke to Joy News said regardless of their presence, some drivers still ignore the zebra crossings. Uh, I've realized either most of the drivers, both commercial and private, either their ignorance to the profession or they int intentionally decide not to observe the road signs. So sometimes the person will realize that the child or somebody is standing right at the ends of the pedestrian crossing but pretend as if he or she has not seen the person. And when you are stopping to, the person will tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm on top speed. But how should you be on top speed while you are approaching a pedestrian crossing? It's not the right thing. Indeed, the disregard for road warnings and zebra crossings in particular remain a concern which requires the urgent attention of authorities in order to save lives. For Joy News, Tasha Michelle.